Hello, Paul Bowman here. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how you can rehab a heavy heel strike. So, in your walking gait, in your running gait, if you're coming down heavy on your heel, that is definitely something you want to rehab, because uh, it, if it hasn't already, it will catch up with you. Uh, heavy heel strike uh, is definitely sending millions of extra pounds over the long haul through your body, and uh, you could that could catch up with you in your ankle, your knee, your hips, your pelvis, your back, even your shoulders. So uh, to give you an idea, you know, typically ballparking it, just walking, a healthy walk is about 200 pounds that goes up one leg, crosses your SI, and then comes out the arm and the jaw on the other side with every step that you take. Now, that's 200 pounds a step. You get your 10,000 steps in for the day. That's 2 million pounds a day. Now, that's 2 million pounds a day that if everything's functional and everything's smooth, great. It just goes through your body and projects you forward. But uh, if everything's not smooth and, uh, and everything's not functional, that could be 2 million plus pounds hitting your knee or your hip or your back or your shoulder. And then you talk about, okay, there's something a, a little bit off and you get a heavy heel strike and just a walk, okay, that could be four million pounds for the day, six million pounds for the day, okay? So uh, if you notice when you're walking or running and you hear that heel clomp, 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 or a lot of times other people will, will point it out, uh, that is definitely something you wanna rehab. So. Uh, we're gonna do this in two parts. Today we're gonna do ankle tilts. So one exercise that I would do daily and balance out for a heavy heel strike is ankle tilts. So the target is between the heel and the ankle. We're gonna do inside, we're gonna do outside. So shouldn't be stressing anything out, shouldn't be hurting anything, but to let that ankle collapse and let that heel and ankle come apart. And a few good reps is all you really need. And just to really work that awareness, am I really letting that ankle roll? Uh, and I would encourage you to do this in a mirror to make sure, okay, am I do, really doing what I think I'm doing? Okay. So a few good reps on each side. And do that as often as you can, definitely daily, but even throughout your day, the more often you do that, the better. Now also, as with anything, recognize, is that even left to right? If it's not, spend some more time on the, that's the stuck side. All right, let's work on now the outside ankle to heel. Let that collapse, and I'm turning my leg, I'm turning my pelvis to really let that open up between the heel and the ankle on the outside. And never pushing into joint pain, but to really work your breathing and awareness to really let that open up between the heel and the ankle. A few good reps on each side. Again, be aware for me, actually right now, my left is tighter on the outside. That's the biggest one I need to work on. So spend some time, prioritize it where you need to work it. I would work them all every day, but spend some more time on the one or two that needs more work. In part two, we will be working on your hamstrings because uh, generally a uh, coming down heavy on your heel for walking or running tends to be uh, your hamstrings are not decelerating at the right pace. So we're gonna stretch those hamstrings out and really find how to completely contract those so that the hamstrings are function, functioning optimally, okay? Now, uh, if I was really working with you, we'd be looking at a lot of different things, but uh, in a quick video like this, this and the ankle tilts from today and the hamstrings from the next one uh, would be the best advice I could give you.